there YouTube I'm back and I'm making videos again sorry it took me so long I've been making my own graphic novel and it's finished now I'm actually working on getting it published I'll show you a little bit more after the video this video is going to be a tutorial on how to develop concept art such as making new characters or later on I'll do landscapes but this will be more like portraits and, and characters and whatnot so stick around and let's begin okay. first you want to take your rough idea or things that you want to get out of your head or your concept you want to design individual pieces of the concept which is good for doodling so like say I want to come up with a character who uh, is, well, I'm, I'm thinking like kind of like a swordsman or something you know that's just me so I'm gonna start with that so first I'm gonna design like anything that's a piece of him like maybe his sword what his swords would look like things like that and these don't have to be great drawings they just have to be simple enough for you to understand what they are so there's a sword I don't know if that's the best looking sword so I'll design another one. Now you just keep designing things until you feel that you're comfortable with the way it looks. You feel that that's how you think it should look and that'd be pretty cool. And you do the same thing with uh, as I'm doing with the sword with everything to his gloves to the shape of his head. You know everything like that. So, so I'm just coming up with different sword designs and this would be like a different hand design. So I, Think of like a cuff link or something like that for his arm, and then this would be his hand right here. <laughs> These are really simple drawings. They don't have to be really complicated or anything. You know, and you can do the same thing with his feet. Come with better designs for his feet and stuff. So, after this is done, I, I'm going to do some pieces and then uh, I'll show them to you. When it comes to character design, you want to think um, on two terms. There's realistic and then there's cartoony. Now when you come up with an idea, say like uh, a superhero with uh, electric powers. Well, if you go, well he's Electro Man, so he's got to have electric waistbands, electric t-shirt, electric everything. Everything's got to have a lightning bolt on it. It makes him look very cartoony and less realistic. Because realistically people don't wear all themed stuff. So if you take things apart and you make them uh, less, you know, you might have a theme here or there like something electrical on them, that might make sense and be more, a little more realistic. But if you put a whole bunch of themes on them, it just makes them look really cartoony. If, if that's what you're going for, that's a good way to do it. You know, if you're trying to make, uh, you know, a character like, uh, let's see here. Batman and put a bunch of bats on everything make him drive a bat car and a bat everything you know and that that makes him it was very difficult for them to make that into a realistic scenario and it took them almost uh, 80 years and now the movies they took out the bat car it's not a bat car anymore it's like a tank they took out the the bat wing it's not even a bat anymore it's like a helicopter saying so, you know, the more stuff that they took the bat theme away from the more realistic the movie seemed. Now when you make your characters, and I just showed you how I did this one, uh, th this right here is some uh, concept art I did. These are the pieces, these are head designs. I was going to do a soldier, and these right here are arm and leg designs, and then I just kind of put them all together into this picture, which I feel the head is a little big, but it's still a good picture, you know. It's a good concept. I can work at it and make better ones later. But that's the idea that I'm showing. Okay. Now these are some pieces that I did, which these would be like head shape, kind of a portrait, and kind of a frontal view. These are some uh, different shoes and pant leggings and things like that that I think would look good on a character. And this character, I'm thinking more of the lines, he'd be like a bounty hunter that is really good with swords or something like that. You know, I'm not getting really in depth here. And since he's a bounty hunter, he should wear a mask. So I created this little metal pointy mask that I seem to, I think looks pretty good. So now using these pieces, I'm going to start creating a piece of concept art.
Now, as you can see, I've made this drawing, and I made a second one a little earlier to test out different things. Now, they kind of look a little different. They kind of look the same. I mean, you can decide which one you like better. It's just a kind of a... That's why you make concept art, to make a better and better description of what you're thinking. And, uh... I like these. I think they're pretty good, and I think they'd make really good characters later on. And, uh, I hope that you get the same results with uh, your concept art. Just start with little pieces, and then put them together into one portrait. But, you know, just kind of go ahead and decide which piece you like. Do I like that one, or do I like this one? You put a check mark or something. Something to remind you that's the one you want. Because sometimes you get confused, because there's piles of a concept art that I have. Little pieces, snippets, and stuff like that. And by the time you finally get it compressed into one picture, you kind of decide, well, that's what I want the guy to look like. That's what, that's what he's going to look like from now on. And that's really helpful when you're making comics, movies, video games, anything like that. I hope this helps. Um, I'd like to show you a little bit of my uh, graphic novel, which I just finished. Here it is all bound together. Uh, I bound this one myself. And it's got uh, 186 pages of drawings that took me about a year to do. And you can see them all here. I, I hope to have this on the shelf real soon so everybody can get it. I'm working on getting it published as we speak. Well, as this video is being made. And uh, I hope this helps. Um, uh, I guess I'll show you some my concept art too.